So what happens when you have a data set and you want to predict some quantitative variable? You've got 20 or 30 rows of variables that you could use to choose a set of predictors. How are you going to decide on the best set of predictors? Well, what constitutes the best regression model depends on the situation. Best models should strive to have relatively few predictors to keep the model simple, a relatively high R-squared, a relatively small value of the standard error, small p-values for the F and T statistics, no cases with extraordinarily high leverage, no cases with extraordinarily large residuals and studentized residuals that appear to be nearly normal, predictors reliably measured and relatively unrelated. So that's a tall order. So let's talk about why we build regression models. So there are two reasons that we build regression models. One is to explore the relationships among the variables. If this is our goal, we want simple models with unrelated predictors, and we want large t statistics, or otherwise known as small p-values. If you have a large t, you have a small p-value. The other thing that we want to use regression models for is to predict response variables. If we want to use our regression to make predictions, then we want a large R squared, and we want um, the collinearity is less of a concern. So we want that R squared to be high. We want to be explaining a lot of the variability in the Y, but collinearity is not as much of a concern. Now, there are several automated ways that you can search out for your best model once a single criterion is selected for op optimization. And two common ways are called best subsets or stepwise regression. Keep in mind if you use these that these methods do not check the assumptions and conditions and are vulnerable to other complications. And even though the process is automated, human oversight and analysis is still necessary to guard against misleading results. All right, so what's best subsets regression? Best subsets regression has you choose a single criterion of what is best. For example, you could choose, you could tell the computer to choose the best model to be the one with the highest R squared value. You choose a modest set of potential predictors, and then a computer searches all possible models and reports the best two predictor model, the best three predictor model, the best four predictor model, and so on. The technique becomes increasingly impracticable as the size of the data set increases. And then we have stepwise regression. Stepwise regression builds the model stepwise from a given initial model. At each step, a predictor is either added to or removed from the model. The predictor chosen to add is the one whose addition increases the adjusted R squares the most. The predictor chosen to remove is the one whose removal reduces R, R squared adjusted the least. All right, so what are the challenges? Well, for large data sets, checking the data for accuracy Missing values, consistency, and reasonableness can be a major part of the effort. Best subsets regression and stepwise regression do not check the assumptions and conditions, so human interaction must always be introduced into the process. 